project a charge particle with a velocity say v let it make an angle theta and how is the b bar b bar is directed horizontally b bar equal to b not i cap the it's a uniform magnetic field it's directed along x axis here so how that uh, we'll take this one so there's a direction of so there's a uniform magnetic field so i'm going to project a charge particle let it be with a speed how the motion of that so we'll resolve this into two parts v cos theta v sin theta so due to component of v cos theta this is a b bar i and this will be b that one so now due to v sin theta it is going to describe a circular motion so when you get a numericals of this kind just take help of <coughs> the condition that one so here what is this x axis no and this is y axis so when now that helical path comes so break up the problem it's a three dimension and the particle is going to move in a three dimension motion is going to move like this spiral or you can say better helical path that one so when you get a numerical of this kind so what you do is convert this into plane so in x y plane how the particle will be. so you take this is y axis let this be z axis so this will be y this will be minus y this will be z this will be minus z so where the particle particle uh, it's having a component of how much v sin theta and look at the direction of magnetic field b bar is along x axis no in what direction the x axis will come here this will be minus z this will be plus z in what direction the x axis x axis should be out of the plane i'm going to rotate this coordinate system about x axis through 90 degrees so here x axis will come out of the plane x axis out of the plane means how the b bar should be b bar will be out of the plane you have to change what is this dot circle the b bar will be out of the plane and now come for fleming's left hand rule so how is the velocity v sin theta v sin theta is like this and b is like this so put like this put in this direction now no <coughs> so always take care of rather than making is in, in left hand no for middle finger right velocity for the pointing finger the b bar and the thumb will be the force so if i putting that on b bar out of the plane along y axis no i think i'll i'll show the video please do make practice this is very important i i don't know how it will appear for you in the video mirroring will be there that one left hand left hand not right hand it should be left hand for the left hand what will happen so middle th this middle finger it should be velocity this will be the b bar the thumb will be force very easily you will get the the direction of force how the direction of force due to v sin theta the force will be acting in this direction okay got this one b bar velocity force so because of force and velocity you know some projectile motion idea you, you have some enough idea of projectile motion how the particle will move the particle is going to move in a curved path here it is going to be a circular path particle is going to move in a circular path here and is going to complete a circle that one like this is going to move in a circular path in which plane 
plus or minus y minus z plane and this will be the radius r i think diagram let me try okay no so some rough diagram i have so this is going to describe a circular path yeah fine look at no so what is the path of the particle it is going to be a circular path and let this be the center this is a negative z axis okay now now let's uh, this will be the radius r so in y plus or minus y minus z plane it's going to describe a circular path the the basic thing and everywhere here magnetic field will be present it's a uniform magnetic field no first thing you make it so what is the expression for radius radius r should be equal to mv sin theta by qb directly i'm writing it radius of the circular path Okay then. So because of v sin theta, it is going to mean a circular path. About what? Not about x-axis. You see that one. There will be one line parallel to x-axis about that axis. So what is axis now? So here axis will be a straight line. Parallel to x-axis. This is the axis of elix. You call like this. so actually the path the path of the particle is going to be like this the pitch distance will be same so th this will be the helical path so i'll i'll call this as the pitch so what is this uh, b bar b bar is uniform and it'll be directed here and this is a path helical path you call it so whenever helix no it will come two things are there like a spring similar to spring so axis of helix axis of helix is not x axis a straight line parallel to x axis here then is going to uh, in which plane it will be describing circular path y minus z plane so circular path in which plane circle in which plane plus or minus y minus z plane so whenever you get helical path now first you identify these things in which plane circular path hind what is axis of helix i think if you know this it will be very easy convert that into plane diagram i'm just showing plane diagram so according to the given situation of the particle particle is going to go like this here so if you are standing <coughs> on x axis somewhere here then you see the this diagram you see this diagram if you are standing on say somewhere on z axis on positive somewhere here on z axis no you see the diagram like this is it okay no so the interpretation of this so then what is the time period we know time period is given by what 2 pi m by b q no it is independent of the speed of projection the time period depends only on these quantities this is a time period then from this so what we can uh, write it what is the expression for pitch pitch p equal to what we can write v cos theta into t so v cos theta 2 pi m by q b the pitch depends upon what the speed that one
So increase the speed of projection as the pitch will also increase it. and the pitch will remain constant. Now look at see after one revolution t equal to zero, t equal to zero this is after one revolution it will come and touch x axis no? Will it touch at same point? No, it will touch at different points. So shall we write any equations for x coordinate, y coordinate, position vector and also the velocity vector of this at any time? How to get expression for the position vector, velocity vector at any time. So let me define further one more quantity called as alpha 2 pi alpha b. Q by m is what specific charge which we try to write it as alpha. Okay, this is about the helical path here. So if you project with a velocity at an angle theta, if the component of velocity is along b bar, other component perpendicular to b bar, the particle is going to describe an helical path. It's what you are seeing this one. So uh, are you getting about this one? Uh, now uh, can we write the coordinate position vector. What do you mean a position vector? So I, I am at any instant of time I'll draw a position vector like this. I want this R bar not capital R is radius. I want the position vector of the particle. So it's better to take help of this diagram. This diagram will help us a lot. So I'll, I'll proceed with the 